Hi, this is Dr. Cassandra Quave, and in this video, we're going to describe how to construct an external preparative HPLC fraction collector out of simple materials, including Legos, Lego Mindstorm, wood, and metal. We'll begin by showing you how to install the belt into the motor assembly pulley system. This will slide the robotic arm left and right on the fraction collector platform. Here we are positioning the belt onto the pulley such that it grips the gears in the motor assembly unit. In this next step, we will insert the metal frame into the LEGO casing. Step-by-step -step instructions on how to create the LEGO casing setup are provided as a supplementary file to the companion publication for this robotic system. Now we will add the belt to the robotic arm. This belt will move the HPLC tubing for dispensing of fractions into the collection bottles. This will move the tubing along the direction of the arm itself. Here you can observe how the pulley unit with the belt is affixed inside of the robotic arm. In this step, we will anchor the pulley using a LEGO unit. Now it is time to apply the cover to secure the arm frame inside of the casing unit. This should be pressed down firmly to ensure that all pieces are engaged. In this next step, we will install the medium motor into the shaft that is connected to the pulley. You can see that the motor is connected to the shaft and the pulley. We add an extra piece on the bottom of the unit to ensure that the motor is securely placed. Here you can see how the medium motor is securely affixed to the pulley unit. Now we will install the motor assembly unit with belt into the robotic arm by connecting the motor assembly unit to the casing.
In this next step, we will install the roller for the upper bar. This will enable smooth sliding motion of the robotic arm from left to right over the whole base of the fraction collector where the collecting bottles will be placed. The fraction collecting base has two rods that are positioned horizontally, one above and one below. The robotic arm and motor assembly unit will be placed onto these metal rods. These rods will serve as sliders for the entire unit to move back and forth on. At this stage, we will add the EV3 unit on top of the motor assembly unit. At this point, we will attach the belt to the frame, and it will be fixated on one side with a screw. The other side of the belt will be fixated through a tension device created by linking two screwed pieces together and then tightening the screws to meet the required tension. Here, we will connect the motors to the EV3 unit using LEGO Mindstorm kit cables. This will allow the EV3 unit to control the motor action of the platform. The USB cable will now be attached to the EV3 unit and connected to the computer. This will allow for programming of the EV3 unit from the computer. The final cable will be connected to the switch that runs the program and initiates movement of the robotic arm. While the unit can run on battery power, we prefer to leave it plugged in to ensure that none of the HPLC runs are disrupted.
In this step, the HPLC tube dispensing assembly is attached with a simple 200 microliter pipette tip used to thread the HPLC tubing through. Here we demonstrate how the French bottles are positioned on the fraction collector base. A waste bottle is positioned at the start of the sequence. The bottle in the waste position is weighted down with heavy materials to prevent it from tipping over. Then there is a tube that runs from the waste bottle to the larger HPLC waste reservoir. The flashing lights indicate that the unit is ready to run. We have a PREP HPLC method already developed and loaded on the Agilent Infinity 2 1260 PREP scale HPLC. On this screen, we already have loaded a fractionation program into the LEGO Mindstorm software. This is a demo program with a 10 second collection into each bottle. Once we have both of the methods loaded into their programs, we start the Fraction Collector program in the LEGO Mindstorm software. It will now wait for a hard start on a button that we have affixed to the front of the HPLC. Next, we start the PREP HPLC method, just like a normal run, and it will wait on a manual, manual injection, just like any other HPLC run. Now that the methods are running in the software, we're ready to inject our sample onto the HPLC. Here you'll see the hard start button that controls the beginning of the fraction collector run. We just have this taped to the front of the HPLC so it's easy to access. The manual injector operates just like normal. The lever is in the load position and then we insert the syringe and fill the injection loop with our sample. Again, the HPLC software is waiting for the manual injector to start the run, so you have plenty of time for this step, and then we throw the lever from load to inject to begin the run. Then we would push the start button on the fraction collector. So flipping the lever from load to run begins the HPLC run, and then we press the start button on the fraction collector. From this view, you can see that the dispensing arm has already moved over the first fraction bottle and is dispensing the fraction. It has just moved to the second bottle. The dispensing arm will move out along its length before sliding over and then moving back in towards the control unit in a large U-shaped design. This is an alternate view. You'll notice the dispensing arm is in the waste position and then moves to the first fraction bottle when we push the start button. It will then move away from the control unit, down the length of the dispensing arm. In this particular demo method, it will be 10 seconds per fraction. Once it reaches the end of the first column, it will slide over and work its way back up towards the control unit. And in this fashion, it will move in a serpentine direction up and down the bottles until we collect the maximum number of fractions. On this system is 72 bottles. A method can be designed in which the time is varied and it is not uniform for every fraction. And also, the number of fractions can be less than 60. We have the method set so that the pump automatically turns off. The flow rate on the PREP HPLC system goes to zero at the end of the method. Therefore, the fraction collector will turn itself off without having to have any complicated switching valve unit installed.